Yo, what's going on everybody, Hoxon here, and today we will be talking about Fairy Tale Chapter 525. Now, if you haven't read this chapter yet, I really advise you to go read it before looking into this video. To this video, of course, spoilers will be ahead. But anyway, without further ado, let's get straight into this video. Now, this chapter didn't really have much to talk about. Um, it was very short, but at the end, it got crazy. But for right now, we're going to be talking about the beginning of the chapter where basically August kept uttering the same words why was his why was his majesty's son not loved um then Kana and Gildar you know kind of had their father and daughter moment where she was like I can take care of myself that I am a grown woman now I can do whatever I want let me make my own damn decision stop being up my asshole dad god damn it and then Gildar's like okay 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 but you're still my little girl and that's basically was it and, it and then it moved on to Zeref and Natsu continuing their fight then the first master called everybody back told them to retreat you know gather together leave Natsu and Zeref alone to have trust in Natsu that he will not lose of course Natsu won't lose because this is Natsu we're talking about here guys I mean come on now but what really made this chapter important because really at the beginning I was like man this is really it there's not really much going on and then Larkade showed up and we was like wow he's still alive after getting his ass whooped by Sting which I did kind of have my feelings that you know he was still going to be able to move around because I mean it was like why would you put so much attention on him for him just to get beat by Sting and not show up in a chapter ever again or in this arc ever again but he did end up making an appearance again he showed up he was like father would you please get rid of this guy would you please kill him let his soul free into whatever he said into the descendant of heaven or something like that and then Zeref, you know he kind of was like and he just he just seemed frustrated and then it cut to i guess a past scene of the uh second master where he found out that Mavis had a baby inside of her while she was inside and trapped inside the crystal and he was contemplating like should I kill it or let it live should I kill it or let it live he ended up I'm um, of course he let he let the baby live the baby I don't I don't know how how he was born I don't know how he got out of the crystal, but he got out of the crystal somehow. I'm guessing they're gonna explain that in Fairy Tale Chapter 526, which I am so damn excited for. But anyway, he ended up making an appearance again. Then Zara kills him. He kills him, just straight up kills him and tells him do not interfere. What I don't understand, why would you kill him and tell him not to interfere? Of course he's not going to interfere if he's already damn dead. But to have that kind of like no remorse at all for your son and kill him was just like okay now we got the Zeref back now we got the badass Zeref that really did not give a shit about anything but fulfilling his goals now the real question is why did he kill his own son now right here I only got one theory for this because I really can't find anything else more on why he would kill him but maybe it was because Larkade was jealous of Natsu and that he wanted to kill Natsu for himself. Now we all know if Natsu dies, Zeref will die too. But maybe Zeref wants, you know, he wants to maybe Natsu kill him. He doesn't want Natsu to die. If Natsu dies, everything will go off charts. His plans will fail. He wants Natsu to kill, Zeref wants Natsu to kill him. And Larkade was going to, I guess he understood what Larkay was going to do that he was going to try and kill Natsu himself so that's why Zeref killed him that's really my only theory for this I really don't have anything else to say this chapter was very short it didn't give really much information on anything at all we'll just have to wait for 526 to come out next week find out what will happen uh, so I mean that's really it so if you guys enjoyed this make sure to leave a comment subscribe and like if you guys are, are just so excited for chapter 526 
and I will see you guys on the next episode. Bye-bye!